what's going on everybody how you doing <clears throat> welcome in Yuki I see what you did there welcome in how you doing squishy what's up dude how you doing um hope everybody's having a good week good start to the week it's Tuesday this is too bright that's a little better <clears throat> um yeah we're back at it we're gonna get back into bug honey on Adventure Island which is a real Famicom game and not a uh, not a not a ROM hack or anything so um, it's part platformer it's part um, breakout Arknoid and uh, before we get into that I'm gonna put on some pony glasses um, but there's no pause music in this game so I'm gonna put on some music while I do that because it's too quiet for the thoughts in my brain right now all the voices in my head they're so loud they're so loud whenever there's no game music playing I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm the only voice that's in my head. But it was very quiet. Alright. Here we go. Shoo! Pony time. Beast mode game. Dude, this game is no fucking joke. It's nuts, man. <clears throat> what am I looking for here? I'm looking for these audio MIDI settings. No, no, no. Is that all the way up? Yes. Barrel, barrel. This is odd. Hmm. Hang on a second. Sometimes, I don't know, it's just weird with, um, I don't know, my fucking audio settings sometimes. I feel like they just change. Damn it. There we go. Um, cool. I think we're good. I think we're good. Welcome in, everybody. Hope we're having a good one. Let me now quiet that music down and let's go into the game. Um, so we are on stage two. If we remember from last stream, I am gonna have to adjust this. But... Yes super loud, so I need to adjust that, but I need to get out of the way. Now they're just going to hit me anyway, but I knew I was going to have to turn the audio down because the games are normally much louder than the, uh, the music player. What about here? Is the audio okay here, or should I take the music down a little bit? Well, let me know. That hype rave music... Um, so yeah, if you missed it last time, this is like part platformer, part Arkanoid Breakout, um, where you have to move the paddle back and forth and bounce the ball to hit the bricks. My Little Ponytails? Hell yeah. Don't ask me how I know that song. Put on the Bluetooth earbuds. Okie dokie. Um, have you ever heard of the game, Squishy, have you ever heard of the game Crystal's Ponytail for Sega Genesis? Might need to take the audio down a little bit, I think. Like there-ish, maybe. I'll put it there-ish for now. Checking it out, meow. Hell yeah. Um, I, pl I played that once. That was... 
That was interesting. That was a game. I mean, it wasn't bad, honestly. It wasn't bad. Um, it definitely was made for little children. Um, but I got to customize my own pony. And that was cool. It had a lot of purple. Alright, here we go. We gotta find our first Arkanoid stage root, just right here. Alright. Oh, did you squishy? Hell yeah. Oh shit. That's right, I gotta get out my... my little notes here. Were these my notes? No, those were not my notes. I thought I put the notes in here with the pen. I was incorrect. Oh, yeah. Oh, here they are. I knew I did it on... These are... These are, these are clean chat, but... I was writing it on a napkin. <clears throat> I was writing my notes for the password on a napkin last time. See, here are the, uh, here are the real, let me move this window so I can see. Here are the real hand-drawn password notes from last stream. I gotta continue with those. We're on stage two. It's gonna help me remember which letters I should get and which ones I should avoid. Hydration time. All right. <clears throat> I was okay to skip U, the letter U that we just missed. I think it might be A. Yeah, it's a big ass. Uh, it's like a thirty-two ounce jar of of moonshine. No, it's just water. <clears throat> just water. Um, there's another one, Squishy. It's fucking amazing, and I wish somebody else would play it, honestly. Um, I'm the only one. Hang on, I'll let this play. Smoke weed, smoke weed, every day. Um, it's a Game Boy Color game. It was... Oh, shit, I needed that A, I think. Shit, no, go back down! Damn it. It was a Game Boy Color game, and it was a German exclusive. It was only in, it, it was only in Germany. It was only in German. Um, but there's a, an English translation patch for it that I, I used. It was called Das Geheimnis... Uh, das Geheimnis der Happy Hippo Incel, I think? Which means... Uh, fuck, what was it called? The, uh, the Secret of Happy Hippo Island, I think is what it was called. Um, if you've heard of the... Um, of the Kinder Bueno. Kinder Joy, the Kinder Chocolate Company. Um, it was it was made by them and um, Ferrero, the Ferrero chocolate company. I don't know. I'm assuming they're affiliated, but uh, they ma they made it, and it's based on those those Kinder eggs, the kin the ones that are like banned in the U.S. because people here are fucking morons and they don't know not to eat plastic. Um, there's a series of these hippo characters um, it's like a hippo family the, the, the they're hippo characters and uh, you play as them oh this one too okay you play as the 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 hippo dude and you're like completely butt-ass naked hippo except for pink speedos it's fucking hilarious dude and um, I think I need H here, maybe? Um, but there are like no bosses in that game. It's like a true kids game. 
Um, so if you ever want a game where you can just like fucking chill out and just be baked and play a stupid game that is not difficult whatsoever, that's the one. Okay, A and A. Das Geheimnis their happy hippo inso. Somebody else came in here. I'm missing. Hang on. Spicy water. What's up, Johnson? How you doing? Welcome in. Had an old educational kids game about a rabbit that gets sucked into his gramophone. Ooh, into a musical world. You explore and learn elementary school level music lessons. That sounds really cool. It was on a disc, but I don't remember the name. Ooh, that'd be a fun one to uh, to take a peek at. We played a lot of. We had um, we had the Apple II computers in school for a while in the elementary, primary ages, um, and then we also had DOS computers. I remember because I remember playing. Uh, I remember playing Oregon Trail and Number Munchers on that one. On the Apple IIe computers, we played shit like Kid Picks, which was kind of like Mario Paint, but not Mario licensed. That shit was dope. Man, this is going to be so fucking hard on stage four. Alright, the A goes there, right? The A goes there, chat. Wait, didn't we get an A already from the other one, though? Now I'm confused. Kid Picks was the shit, hell yeah. Johnson knows what's up. Waiting for your friend to be available so you can play some Fall Guys? Hell yeah. From the 90s or 2000s. Tired from work today, but good. Fucking work, man. I didn't want the... Did I want that A? Did I not want that A? I wanted that fucking A. That's right, that's right, that's right. Here, I'm just starting the stage over. Let's just start the stage over, why not? Did you say, um, you looked up the, the Happy Hippo game, uh, Squishy? Is that the one that you are saying you looked up? That one's cool, and then if you've ever heard of the Moomins, um, also like, just a, like a kid's show, um, well, in like, books and comics and shit, it's like a whole thing, Moomins are very popular, but, uh, there's a Moomins game for... I'm trying to remember what it was, which console it was on now. Can't remember. I know that it'll come up on my YouTube. I put all my VODs on there. If you search for Moomin, um, but that one was that was interesting. It was. It was sort of a kid's game. Um, it was based on a kid's IP, and it was um, it was very cartoony and whatnot, but man, it was fucking difficult. I remember one boss in particular, it was a dragon, and it, it just was kicking my ass forever. I'm like, why is this fucking kid's game so damn hard? It was fun, though. The Moomins. Get up in there. I said, get up in there. There you go. So the A is correct. It's called Reader Rabbit? Oh, hell yeah. 
The hippo game. That looks chill. Yeah, it was pretty dope. I need to watch somebody else play it someday. Okay, we need an, we need the A here as well. There are two A's in this password, I believe. What's early? What's Erlish saying? I'm going to go take a huge ass piss. That's not where you piss from, no, Earl. Do you? Do you piss from your ass? That'd be medically fascinating. I need to hook up my PS4 and see what it does when I start Fall Guys. I have no idea what my info is, but it'll auto-populate on the console. Man, I haven't played that game in a couple of years. I remember I had it, I bought it on Steam to play with Chulk and crew back in the day. And uh, and then Epic bought it, and so then it was free on their store. And I remember having to uh, like transfer my account over to that to use it for for a minute. But then I haven't played it in a long time. Come on, get out of the cycle. There we go. Need a good A, chat. Let's just let it bounce down. See if I can see if I can get an A out of one of these. That's a Y, I don't want that. Get up in there. There we go. Got my second A. Dude, this game is wild. I guess there's a reason it probably didn't didn't get a <laughs> didn't get a release in North America or Europe. It's just so fucking niche and weird. And it's very difficult. get stuck in these loops in the corners there you might as well just let it bounce down and start over again so if I can get out of this one I have two of the password letters man get up in that corner Holy shit, come on. Get over there. Get over there. There we go. Now, one more time. Nope. Get over there. Okay, okay, okay. Now up the center. There we go. Yep, there's the A. There's the other A. Pause this shit, because now I need to find a way to mark... That I have these. Let's do a little, little plus there. I have those two. T H and I are also in this password. T H and I. I'm gonna take these off now. It was a good ass piss. Can you elaborate on what an ass piss is, Earl? Can you send me a. Uh, a video tutorial link I'd like to know how an ass piss is what's up Rob how you doing we're just playing some more of this crazy ass game Whee! Damn, that bird came by and it stole my egg. 
It's a good thing I didn't need that one. That's just... Shit, I bet I needed that T. Wait, maybe not. If there's an H or an I here, we'll we'll maybe we'll test that. Um, but I think I needed that T. I still have my notes from last stream, but uh, oh, that was an H though. Damn you, fucking ball! Right as I was about to grab that H, it scrolled the screen on me. Um, this is two. Stage two. We've currently collected uh, two letters, both A, for this stage. See? Um, I was going to show you, but that bird took my egg, so fuck it. I think I need the T in this one. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just get the fuck up there now. We don't need any more letters, just get the hell out of here. Gossity up in here. Hell yeah, what's up, Tracker? How's it going? Thank you for the 27 months, dude. I really appreciate that. Uh, what is this Adventure Island multi phase? Dude, this is fucking nuts, is what this is. Um, this is this is a legit Famicom game. Uh, never made it to the NES. It's called in English Bug Honey on Adventure Island. Or, uh, whatever the title says. I can't remember what the Japanese is at the moment, but it's in the uh, title. And so what you're doing is, it's part platformer, part, um, Arkanoid. And all fucking crazy. So what you have to do is, see here, we're collecting a password. And so I have my notes here, written on this napkin that I had, uh, it's clean chat, don't worry. Um, so that was stage one. This is stage two that we're working on now. I have the letters from last time here. I just haven't collected them yet in, in this attempt. Um, but I have collected the T and both A's. So what you have to do is, as you're going through the platforming sections tracker, you have to, uh, you have to find the hidden eggs, like in Adventure Island, right? Um, like how they have the hidden Hudson B and, and the eggs and shit. They're all hidden in this. Once you find one, it takes you to an Arkanoid stage. In the Arkanoid stage, you have to just randomly guess. Like, power-ups will drop down like an Arkanoid, but also random letters will drop down. And you have to randomly guess which letter... And only one of them per stage, uh, per Arkanoid stage, is correct. Um, you have to just randomly guess which one's correct. And you lose lives when you when you don't. It's pretty fucked up. So, um, yeah, we're just playing some Arkanoid to gather letters to build a password to get to the next stage. Realized there were three types of games that I didn't get, that didn't get imported into the U.S. Good games that took too long to localize. Uh-huh. FF games, like three. Uh, really shitty ones like Transformers. Yep. Um, I ha have the translation of that one too, Rob. It's something. Um, or games that are batshit crazy. Yeah, like this one or uh, uh, Wagonland. Shit like that. It's weird, man. Okay, in these next ones, we need to look for an H and an I.
you ever play much Arkanoid as a kid? Uh... Shit, that might have been my age that I needed. Uh, Tracker. Or, not necessarily even as a kid, that's just when I played it. I played a lot of, uh, the Famicom one. It was never quite like this. Not the fucking C. See, I just lost one of my little Arkanoid dudes, uh, little platform lives. Because I collected the wrong letter. In order to get the exit to open at the top there, we have to clear just the upper screen. You don't have to clear the lower one. Uh, yeah, this is it's just a wild idea. You want to get to the next stage? Find the fucking password. Go. Oh, you want continues? Fuck you. Oh, and just to be straight up, I'm uh, I'm using save states because I don't give a shit about this game. I just think it's fascinating and I want to play it. Um, so I'm not worried about like legitimately beating it um, because there are there are no continues. You just you lose your lives and you go back to the stage one. And I can't be, uh, I can't be bothered to do that. So, I just saved, um, we passed stage one last stream, and I, I did a save at the beginning of stage two. I had the translated FF games all thrown on cartridges for me so I can own the original three. Hell yeah. A little bit in the arcade, never good at it. Ah, okay. N39 popped in. Has ever what's up N39? Uh, has anyone played the C64 version of Transformers? Um, not C64. I have not. I have played some uh, C64 games though. It's very tedious, Rob. Absolutely. It's like completely unrelated ideas that were crazy glued together. Exactly. Oh damn it. Fucking Higgins. In the first stage you played as Bug Honey. You were like you were this 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 girl here. Oh, I don't want to go in here, damn it. See, and I can't just I can't just let myself die. I mean I just did, but I lose an actual life if I lose all my little little bar dudes in here. But I don't need any of the letters in here. I've already cleared this one. You have to methodically clear the stages because otherwise you'll instantly forget which ones you've already done, and then you'll just be getting extra letters for no reason. Like that was just—I didn't want to touch that. I actually, like the version of FF3 on the DS over the Famicom. Just the improvements on the final boss make it ten times better. What, what, uh, what were the improvements? At least Higgins doesn't have a time limit in this. That's true. So that one I got, this is the one that I need to get, right? Yeah, I was trying to find this and I fell off the fucking ledge. I think it's over in the... Down in here. Yeah. You're pretty stoned? Hell yeah. Alright, I need... H or I in this one. I believe. Do I have S on my no-go list? Shit, I don't. See, and I don't know if I've gotten this one or not yet. Okay, yeah. S is the correct one in this one. Um, so S is okay. We need to clear this one to figure out where the letter S goes in the password. Oh, and I'm on Famicom too, of course, not translated. The Famicom was, uh... Oh, of the uh, Final Fantasy game, Squishy? 
PS1 FF1 Origin remake were decent. Um, I had the I had the NES version as a kid. I really enjoyed it. I know it was jank and there were some broken things in it, but I really liked it. Come on. Um, but th I played the PSP version too. That was that was really good. Get out of there! Just get back up there and go! We've got this whole screen that we gotta deal with, and the ball is just fucking around on the bottom screen. Could use a power up. The laser, or the one that lets me shoot the little, like, wind cloud thing out at it. That one. <laughs> that way I can kind of keep it up there more. And it's important to keep it up as long as you can, chat. That's just scientific fact. But if you keep it up longer than four hours, you should check with your doctor. That's what they say, anyway. Piece of shit. There. Holy hell. Yeah, now get back up in there again. Yeah, do it again. No, you fucker. Yeah, get back up in there. Back up in there. Nope. Wrong way. There you go. There you go. There you go. One more. That's gonna be a toughie. Oh, oh, I just missed it. Yeah, get it, get it. Now get out of there. Now just get out of there. Now just get out of there. Now just get out of there. Nice. Okay, the S goes there. The DS version has multiple targets and a complicated battle pattern. Uh, Famicom version spams the same move every turn. You either have the levels or you don't. No strategy. Gotcha. Four hours? Fuck that. You get four minutes out of me. <laughs> After that, I'm taking a nap. Hell yeah. Everywhere but where you needed to go. I know. Man, it's so difficult to aim that, control that thing. I hope so. N39. But no, I think the last letter's an I. I think really what we have so far is T-A, and then from last time, H-A-S-I. So, I don't know. Talk. Uh, what's the what's um, what's Higgins's name in Japanese? It's not actually, uh, it's not necessarily two words actually, which is stupid. 
Like the last one was Bug Honey, and it was st it was um, still organized like that, and the two rows exactly the same. Bastard! It's weird. It's a weird game. So I just ignore all these. Just ignore all these eggs from here on until that next point. Well, I'm fucked now. I need a heart bad. <sighs> Irritating. Now we can start over again. So now we can't ignore any of these eggs. We have to go through them methodically once again. And this one is going to be A. Need to look for the letter A. I pushed the wrong button. I don't want to get that O. Damn it. So I'll never play this game with the ball going around. The last remaining block 20 times pisses me off the same way it does. Pick a quarter up off the sidewalk does. Yeah, exactly. What's up, Iron Ghost? How's your Tuesday? Man, this game is fucking tough. Even, even while cheating by saving at the beginning of the stages. super rainy there yeah it was rainy maybe two days ago yesterday maybe yesterday yay we have the a again man i gotta start it i gotta like redo this password thingy now um Maybe I'll just make a bigger dot above these ones now. Rained all day there too. Damn. Miss couch cushion coins more than you miss sidewalk change. Like, hell yeah! Now where's the ice cream truck? So I can go spend this shit on some ice cream. Alright, this should be what? Another A? I think this is A number two. We never had ice cream trucks where I grew up because it was too far in the middle of nowhere. There's like me and my brother and sister and then like down the road like I don't know half mile. Shit, I missed that egg. There was like a farm with an older couple. And there was a house in a lot uh, above our place. And that had an older couple in it too. And that was it. And there was just like cornfields and shit. Well, it wasn't cornfields, it was like hayfield. So I never got to experience the old ice cream truck situation. Came jingle jangling. Ring ding ding ling ding. Kids running to the street to pay a stranger money for sweets.
Yeah, I missed what I needed there. Dude, you get that you get that couch cushion money, you get to go to the fucking arcade. 75 cents in couch cushion coins. To the store to buy a pack of base baseball cards. Fuck you, mom. That money's mine. See you in 20. Mm -hmm. Or to the uh, take it to the arcade. Kill for rain. Severe drought right now. Wildfires in some areas. Damn. Hopefully not too close to you, Tracker. Found $50 floating in the water at the beach. Damn. That's, uh, that's a lot of money just floating in the water. Pony time. Pony time. It's, um, it started to snow in the, not here, but up in the mountain passes in the Cascades. Um, I'm pretty sure I read that it went to like chains required to go through the passes, the mountain passes, yesterday. Good for the ski resorts. Not good for traveling between eastern and western Washington. Well, the, the Blue Mountains, um, which are like... Oh, I need that A. Fuck! No, fuck! Son of a bitch, I hate this game. This game is a piece of shit. The, the, uh, the mountains in eastern Washington and Oregon are the Blue Mountains. And uh, to get out of Washington or Oregon to the east, you either go through the Blue Mountains up towards like Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, outside of Spokane. Or uh, Pendleton, Oregon, um, which is like, I don't know, like the, probably one of the bigger cities in eastern Oregon. Um, lots of small tiny towns and shit in that area. But uh, if you're trying to go down through to like Idaho and that route, I forget what the freeways are there, but um, that one gets crazy fucking snowy in the winters. That's super da- that one's super dangerous to drive through. Shit gets crazy in the mountains. I think I'm done with this game. Aged couch M&Ms? Good vintage. Hell yeah. Little Rob returns from the store after cursing out Mom and buying baseball cards with jack shit in them. Mom, give me my wooden spoon. My face 30 seconds later, right? You're like, ah, oh, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. I didn't even get the... I didn't even get the fuck bat card. I don't even know what fucking letters I'm looking for anymore. I think I'm done with this game for now. Maybe. Because I don't know if I can be fucking bothered anymore. No Ken Griffey Jr. cards? Damn it. just I mean it's playable it's just the way that it's structured how to progress through the stages is just fucking bonkers and the fact that there's no continues to to facilitate that is just crazy randomly guess a bunch of letters for us please no continues start from the beginning It pisses you off just to watch. It's, uh, it's fucking something special. That one's always the hardest to get, that little left-hand pocket over there. 
Yeah, Rob watching this game, he's raging out. Like that. What if it's softbox? That'd be funny. You just it's just stuck up there forever. I'd love that. That would be amazing. <laughs> so how you doing, champ? Just keep that shit up all day. Yeah, what else can I play? Was losing your shit watching the ball bounce between those last the little pockets off the paddle, left paddle. Paddle, right pocket, yep. It's, um... <clears throat> it's very poor design. Yeah, the hell... The, the hell stage is actually kind of funny. <coughs> but it's trolly because you randomly find it, and it's all non-breakable blocks. <clears throat> it's nearly impossible to get out um, through the exit. And you don't get any letters because there are no breakable blocks. So you don't you don't even have a chance to get a letter. They're legitimately just troll stages. And you have to either get through it or you have to just lose all three lives in there and back out of it. It's... it's fucking dumb. Let's see what else I have. I was thinking about playing that B.O.B. game. I don't know that I want to play that tonight, though. Camp California. Oh, you know what I'm gonna play? I know what I'm gonna play. I know what I'm gonna play, chat. Fuck you, game. And fuck your music. Let me get some better music going. Just a moment. A bear with me. Let's, uh... Where's my music? There's my music. Let's switch to th this is this is a popular hit. While I find some other music, everybody likes Plock. Everybody likes Plock. These are facts. These are things we know. People like Plock. Clock is a swell guy. Alright, what I want to look for now is... This game. Trying to pluck, baby! What are you doing? I'm just trying to block. You know what I'm gonna play? Chat? Do you know what I'm gonna play? I'll give you a hint. <clears throat> I'll give you a hint. It's by a company that has a rainbow in their logo. Any ideas? I'm trading in this piece of shit Hudson Soft game for a uh, for a fucking LJN game. You ready for this? You ready for this tracker? I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but actually, this one's not terrible. I mean, it is. see. I've tested a handful of stages and uh, it was actually kind of fun. Mm. 
That's right. Out of pan in the fire. It is Nintendo. It is Game Boy. It is LGN. It is this. And what else? One, two, three. I'm not gonna click done on that until I change this. Shit. Forgot to get a follow up song. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is a good one. This is a good one. I promise. Promise, chat. This is a good song. The game, however, not so much. Here we go. Let's change that cover art. Are you ready for this, chat? Boom, baby. Let's play some more Bill and Ted. Who's ready for this? Who's ready for some more hot Bill and Ted action? This time on the Game Boy. By our good friends at LJN. This one's kind of neat. It plays like um, it plays like uh, Mr. Blobby that we played a while back for DOS last year. Um, I don't know how difficult it gets though. I only played a little bit of it. I played like three stages maybe, and they seem pretty cool. It's just sort of like a generic arcade platformer. If I can find the game. There she is. The links to the Game Boy. Let's go time traveling, chat. Game has been updated, title has been updated, tags have been updated. Cool. Alright, let's get into some Bill and Ted. Well, actually, let's see. Uh... Oh, that is absolutely share. Should we check the green scale? Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, that looks nice. That looks great. What about uh, some grayscale? I mean, we could just do like black and white like this. But what fun is that when we have a pastel pink mix? Oh baby, it matches my it matches my uh, my pony. It matches my little pony chat. Now let's see how the 
Let's see how the music is in this game. It's probably terrible. I bet it's terrible. It's not bad. Game audio check. Should I go a little lower? A little higher? Is it okay? It's no Dragon Roost Island theme, that's for sure. So you just gotta go around and collect a bunch of... shit-covered unicorn horn? That's right. You just have to go around and collect a bunch of orbs. Like you're fucking, uh... Like you're the fucking Time Lord. Oh, James has played this game before. Cool. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Greetings, my excellent friends. I'm Bill. And I'm Ted. Oh, that's not Cher after all, Tracker. And we're... Wild Stallions. Look at him air guitaring. The evil dude, Denomalous, wants to totally do something that I couldn't read because it was too quick. If he does, we'll never become totally famous and bring about world peace. No way! Yes way. We have to stop this most heinous dude by traveling somewhere. Through the circuits of the collection store. What? How will we know when we see them? They look like objects from the different time periods. But I think they might be flashing or something. Alright, kind of like a historical light show. Let's get going, my fellow time-traveling dude. The... <laughs> be excellent to each other, and... Party on, dudes! The timing on the, uh... On the text was so weird. Sometimes it would auto-scroll, like, really super quick. And you couldn't read any of it, and then other times it would just chill there. Alright. Um. I just looked down and saw all those, uh, the password letters and shit written down there, and I was like, man, fuck that. Let's go one player game. Austria, 1805. Adventure 1, Quest 1. Man, remember, um, Mr. Blobby on DOS? That shit was great. I have no attack. I can just jump. Did I pick Bill or Ted, or did it just make me? It made me be this sort of amalgamation of both, maybe? Shit. Jump over him! Okay, whew. That is a Blinken. Like from the movie. Abraham Lincoln. Do you think. Oh, is that. That's Napoleon Bonaparte with a giant ass hat. Do you think whenever. Lincoln's family came over to the Americas to the US do you think like at immigration his his original name wasn't Lincoln do you think it was like Lynn Colon but they wanted to change it because it was, sounded too much like like a colon like an ass that's something I'd probably change so it would be more ass like I would want it to be more ass like is that I think that's um I think that's Einstein Oh, I can't go back down these chains? Are you kidding me? What the hell? I'm gonna have to fall through the floor, I guess. Ah, oh, damn it. Or I'll die. Haven't seen it yet? Spoiler alert. The characters' names are Bill and Ted. Yeah, you don't have to watch it now. You, you know you know the whole plot. They're Bill and Ted. 
and they go on an excellent adventure. I have yet to play that masterpiece, Rob. I hear it's a masterpiece of shit. And HG loves it. Where's the fucking door? Oh, perfect. Don't say that in front of HG. I've never played it. I just know it's uh, isometric overhead, and that's that's just perfect for somebody else to play. Unless it's like Marble Madness. That's overhead isometric, and I dig that. What the hell is this? Ooh, nice. You have to hit it at the right time, I guess. Um, it can either be a little question mark or a skull. I'm assuming skull kills you. What makes people hate... Um, go for it, Ted. Oh, was that Bill? Were we playing as Bill? New Mexico, 1879. Um... Is it, is it hard to control, or what do people hate about it? Damn it. So I guess we're Ted now. Who are these dudes, though? With the isometric games, I find them um, find them to be unnecessarily hard due to issues with depth perception. Yeah, um, it just sort of yeah I don't know it just sort of breaks my brain for a bit. That's why I haven't played uh, Cool Spot Goes to Hollywood. I played the first game, but not the second one. The elevator mini game part. In which one, Squishy? Damn it. In uh. Bill and Ted for NES. It's gonna be tough to time the dude up top with the guns because he shoots. He'll shoot one way and then immediately shoot the other direction too. Can I jump over this asshole? I can. Oh, that was sketchy though with the other dude. Him shooting his bullets and shit. Nope. I saw him shoot the one way. And I was like, nah, I gotta get the hell out of here. Fuck. 30 seconds left. Boom! Shit. Well, maybe if I loop up to the... Can I go up to the left? No, I'm gonna drop down there. I do have to go over that way. I just need to not fuck up like I did. Okay. I do need to get up here. I gotta watch out for Thing reaching out of that trap door. That's fucking weird and creepy. Yeah, I think that's Abe Lincoln and Albert Einstein.
damn it, Albert Einstein, you fucking idiot. Oh, come on. And this is where the LJN starts, right? Is the control. We having control issues. Can I get that one? Oh shit. Dude, this is rough. Just judging where you're gonna go as you're jumping is crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if I can jump. Yeah, okay. If I time it right, I can get that one. Okay. You can get up there. If anyone expecting me to redeem a shitty bean, I ain't doing it. I do it all the time and no one else does. I don't need to be the resident asshole for my, <laughs> my others can pony up at points on time. Right? But by saying that, you're you're really you're just trying to to like instigate somebody else to do it, right? Okay. Yep. There it was. I knew that was the game plan, Rob. I knew it. Get it! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! All these games I'm playing today have no fucking music. They have no fucking music on the pause screen. Let's eat a damn jelly bean. Cause that's delicious. Jelly beans are delicious. There are no there are no good flavors in this bag. It's a full bag of bullshit trolley jelly beans. I don't get it. I don't think I've had one good jelly bean in this entire batch. Alright. Same as last time. So it's going to be a stink bug. No, no, no. This could be top banana wet dog. So it's probably going to be wet dog. Looks delicious. Looks delicious. Yeah, it's a wet fucking dog. Why? Why is everyone bad? Every single one in this bag is disgusting. I want my fucking money back. Every single one. Oh, it's so gross. Oh. Why? I need a new fucking bag. <laughs> What's up, colors? How you doing? Welcome in. I don't get it. Legitimately, every single one in this bag has been bad. Or maybe my mouth is just broken. But I don't think bananas would taste like this. No banana I've ever eaten tastes like this. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it's so bad. JC knows. Ugh. No good ones, right? Ugh. Ugh. Alright. Wowza. That's truly nasty. The the stink bug is worse. But man. I will tell you. Wet dog is not good. <clears throat> if you ever think if anybody out there has a dog and it's recently rained and it came inside and you're like, man, you smell like wet dog. And you thought 
Maybe I should wring that out into a glass and drink that shit. Don't do it. Or do, because then you could then you could know. Then you could know, but Ugh. Oh, it's so bad. So gross. It's so dumb. Right? Alright, back to some Bill and Ted. By LJN. Hot LJN Jams. The J and LJN stands for jams. Ah, okay. Oh fuck. Damn it. Damn it. Close. I was close on that. You are very welcome, Squishy. Hope you enjoyed. It was, it was delicious. Ugh. Whee! All right, honest Abe. I honestly need you to get the fuck out of my way. There's a one up. That's good. Score based. I'm assuming. Whee! What's interesting is you can't climb back down those chains. You can only go up them. They are one way. Oh, okay, easy. Bang, bang! Like Cactus Jack. Mm, get in there. Bang, bang. Adventure 2 Quest 4. So we're in the old west right now. In the old west Texas. Should we go over there and get that and then go over there? And then up will take us to those. Problem is, I don't know where... I don't know where the uh, time machine is going to show up. Okay, get back up there. Easy. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Alright. Alright, we're good. We're good. Easy. Baby game. Anybody else ever played this version of, uh... Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? This is the Excellent Game Boy Adventure. You can go back down the, uh... You can go back down the vines. So that's... That's a, bo uh, a bonus. That's a, that's a positive thing. Boot Hill. Get the hell out of here. One ups are good. It's your turn now, Bill. Greece, 410 BC. Adventure 3, Quest 1. Oh, those look scary. Look, we're we're uh, we're Bill again, Bill S. Preston, Esquire. Oh, look at this shit! Yeah, look at me go. I'm just oh shit! I was just ballooning my way, and then I fucked up and I fell down on my face. They used the cartoon designs. They did. It's from the cartoon for sure. Oh shit! Damn it! Okay. All right, I get it. I get it now. All 
I'm gonna have to go up here. I have to get this one first. No, okay. Yeah, get over there. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. Where's it at? Where's it at? Nice. All right, LJN. I see you. some composure. You just gotta, you gotta pay attention to the timer. You saved yourself with some sick-ass dodges. Now you gotta pay attention to where you're at. Over here. Over him. Down a little bit. Nope. Back up. Easy. 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 Nope. That dude's there. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. They're on a similar cycle here. Wait. Let me just... Yeet. Okay. No! Fuck. Go down to the bottom one first. That's what I gotta do. So I can grab these ones right now, it doesn't matter. But on the right hand side, I need to go down to get that bottom one first. Then work my way up. And then I wonder where... all the way over there. Shit, okay. Oh, baby! Hell yeah. I can't get to the platform on the... all the way to the left there. That's what they want you to try. They want you to be trolled. Oh, damn it. Burned my asshole. Thanks for the GG's. I wonder what's going to happen when I run out of those four lives. You think there will be continues? It's retro LJN. I mean, I can't imagine they're kind to you. Okay, there's a one-up. This is... This is making me nervous. Yeah, get up there. Oh, R.I.P. That is not safe. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay! Fuck! Dude, he turned around so soon. So fucking soon. Damn it. I call shenanigans. Does a little stutter stuff once in a while here. Like that! Fucking asshole! I was gonna try and get that one first, just to kinda get it out of the way with, and then I could try and avoid. avoid that area next time. Man, I'm gonna figure out what happens after we run out of lives here, real quick. could control it more than just trying to jump across there after getting the other one to the left. Oh shit! Damn it. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, oh, that's a fucking bomb. That looks scary. Oh, that's a good thing. Bombs are a good thing. Look at it fizzing up there, like, like it's treasure master. Think I can bomb through here? Not quite load runner. Not quite bomber man. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Yeah. Okay. Nice. There was so little room to get through between that platform and that dude. Shit, man. I thought I made a mistake. Okay, we've got to watch out for Thing here. This is going to be tricky, especially... Not being able to go down through that ladder, uh, the chain anymore. Fucking go jump! Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That arm is wiggling. Damn it. That dude was coming. Abe was coming. Right up, right on my back. Abe was coming on my back. I had to go. I didn't have time. Didn't have time to wait. Abe was honestly coming on my back. same cycle as we were before, so what we're going to do is wait, jump over him again, so quet and juicy, that emote is so wet and juicy, damn it, I pulled back, I, I backtracked, but it didn't, it didn't work. If I can keep getting that one up, we're going to be okay. Juicy Lucy. Who is Lucy and why is she juicy? with hands, yep. It's Thing from the Adams Family. He's trying to get you to comb your hair. I'll let you take this next one, Ted. Shares going back to England, 1456. Okay, we're collecting shields. That was not... That was not ideal. That is about... The trolliest fucking LJN thing you could possibly do. Because now I have to kill myself. Because obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna try and collect that first fucking item. Those bastards. It's all gonna be trial and error too. Like which one which one is safe and which one isn't. How the hell do you even do this one? I'm not sure I understand. Oh, okay. Well, one of them... Whee! This is fucked up. One continue. Damn. 
Damn. Should I just save it here? Let's see. See, trial and error shit like this is pretty annoying because you just you have to you have to die to figure out what's what. I don't think that's right. Okay, that one opens up the floor, or it, it closes up the floor, so that's good. 2006 Honda Civic? Oh yeah? Are you sure about that? Can I get this one? Yeah. Oh! Oh, baby. Okay. But how do I do this now? Okay, I'm gonna have to... Oh, shit. I'm not gonna be able to get it because... Asshole's there. Damn it. And that opens up one up there, too. Fuck, I gotta get that one first. This is ridiculous. So we gotta get this one. Then we gotta get this one. Okay, that opened up that one. him down there. That's actually good. Oh no! Damn it! That's actually good if I can jump over him because then I can go over to the chain and get on that that platform so I can grab that last one, but he goes so quickly. Ideally, it would be nice if I could get that platform and knock him off into the into the abyss down below. Unless I can get the other one if I just... Yeah. Nope, that asshole came back at me. Fuck. Which one? Is it the middle? The bottom one takes the vine away. I can't remember if it's the top or the middle that makes the uh, platform appear and which one makes the top one disappear. See, can I backtrack? It's real tough to backtrack. Though... Ah, okay. Okay. Go all the way back over there. And do it quickly. Eh. Oh shit, of course it's over there. Gotta time this right! Shit, why did he turn around? Damn it.
Bam, bam. This dude's gonna be real tough to get over because of the way he moves. For reals. See, why does he fucking turn around so quick? That can't be the... That can't be the right... Can't be the right order. But what then would the order be? See, that's not it because getting woozy if you if you KO. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out, Squishy. Always good to see you. Yeah, this is gonna be impossible. I fucked myself here again. Cause then I can't get that one up there. It has to be. And that's got to be the right order. Otherwise, how? I was trying to see if I could get over him, but... Hmm. I was pushing left. Oh, I got more continues now somehow? Okay. This has to be the way to go. If we get these ones. You know what? Only one of those triggers those three. So maybe I only need to get one of those. And so the three that appear vertically that I just got to the right of the vine. Maybe those ones... Um, Maybe that's the clue. Maybe I'm getting those in the wrong order. Fuck, I got the wrong one. Okay, that's gonna make shit very impossible. I'm gonna run out of timer. Man, this one is tough. I'm out of time. That's the wrong movie franchise. They're thinking of Back to the Future. Which one of these triggers at the bottom one? Yes. So what if I leave those other two for now? Neither of well, one of those, the, I think it was the top one triggered this dude. Oh shit. <laughs> Get over him! Damn it! Damn it! What could the possible solution be? What if I just get the top one? Or two. That does nothing. It's the bottom one that triggers those. No, 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 no. Stabbed me in the face. Hmm. Come on, bastard.
try something here. Get him stuck there. Nope. I was wondering if... One of those was gonna... I was wondering if one of these ones right above me here was gonna respawn that vine, but I fucked it up. These two have to be first. That one triggers these, right? So... That bottom one's the only one that does anything. I accidentally grabbed the other one. Didn't want to do that quite yet. The same thing as last time. I'm not gonna win this way. I wonder if I can jump from here once that comb goes past it. Can I access it from here? Yeah. Oh, baby. Okay, okay. Alright, alright. Wait a second. I still can't get past him, though. No. Fuck, man. How do I get past him? It's that... It's a bottom one that cancels the vine out that is the most problematic one. I fuck this up. Unless I pull a chulk and snake rattle and roll at the top of the mountain. If I if I do one of those and I fuck up, otherwise I'm good. Let's go. Can you imagine getting to the top of the mountain like that and then just fucking up? Oh yeah, that's not good. It's another one of these stages. Are you kidding? Thanks for GG's. What does this one do? Oh, oh, fuck. Mm, I don't like you. I don't like you. Go away, guy. At the very top of getting over it? Shit. That would suck. Right? Because that takes forever to get all the way up there. About a minute or so later, end up at the bottom. That sucks. How am I supposed to get... Oh, okay. 
I was gonna say, how am I supposed to get that if the platform below me is gonna go? But at least they didn't troll me too hard on that. What's up, Gris Kitty? Gris Kitty. I guess let's try bombing that floor. And then we go like this. And then we go. And then we go. And then we go. And then we go. Get over there. The question is now, how do we get up there? Do we, do we go all the way up here and then jump up? There's a snake you can ride. It drops you down to the bottom after fucking up. He caught the snake. Once you catch it, there's nothing you can do. Oh shit. So he fucked up and he like accidentally caught a ride on that snake. And snake was like, fuck you guy. A narrow, 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 narrow. Ba, 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 narrow, 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 narrow. I'm gonna walk up here. All right, I gotta get those first, and I also have to get. I'm trying to see if we can find it. Ooh, nice. I'm guessing I need to get these things first. And then just grab whatever that is. What is that? Yeah, fuck. Is that like a wash basin? Or is that like a? Is that like a? What the hell is that that he picks up? Oh, I'm like quicker now? Oh, I get it. So like I can jump further maybe? Yeah. I'm supposed to use it after that. Gotcha. I get you, game. I see what you want me to do. Snake! Oh, look, it's a little kitty. Oh, shit. Kitty's not friendly. I don't know why I expected him to be, but Kitty is not friendly. Repeat, Kitty is not friendly. Oh shit! I jumped too early. Damn it. I thought Kitty was coming at me. Alright, we can do this. That's extra time? I'll take that. What's this? Who's sleeping? Can I put him to sleep? Oh yeah. I mean, it was kind of pointless, but I know what it does now. Go away. Get out of here. Kitty going crazy. Jump over kitty. Oh man. Maybe I need to jump over kitty from that step. Damn it. There's Snake. Found him. Maybe I just need to... And I don't want this to sound... I don't want people to take this the wrong way, but... Maybe I need to put the kitty to sleep? <coughs> save the... Save the sleepies for the kitty at the top? Go to sleep, kitty! Why you no sleep, kitty?! Kitty, why you no sleep? Damn it. That's one hyper kitty. He didn't want to go to sleep.
Get over the kitty. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Damn it. I jumped too early. Fuck. I should have just gone down and around, but... <clears throat> just trying to be fancy. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. <clears throat> Ba -do 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 -do. Mm, damn cat. <clears throat> I thought it was going to jump at me like it does on the left side of the screen here. <clears throat> but then it didn't. He didn't cut back like I wanted him to. Oh, I see what that does. Oh, he fucking stopped, damn it. The time will just give me time. I'm gonna save that until it until it well. Actually Actually I'm just gonna jump down the hole and I'm gonna I'm just gonna die for a minute. Is that cool, chat? I'm just die a minute. Let me just die a minute, no biggie. I didn't get that one down there like I should have done. Oh, come on, I just wanted to walk on the bottom step. <laughs> Maybe it's meant for him. Come on. What does the sleep one do? It's not putting anybody to sleep. <clears throat> Go the fuck to sleep. I read the book. You're supposed to go the fuck to sleep. I know the plot. Mm, get over there. It's probably how the clock is there, because you can use this, get extra time to go back down around. All right. Easy. Hey, Bill. You have a go at it. One million BC. Is that a manta ray floating through the air? Like a stingray is just like flying through the air for some reason? Anybody anybody ever been to 1 million BC before? Are there really stingrays floating through the air? <clears throat> Seems weird to me, but I don't know. I wasn't there. Go down here, back up here, back around, over him, down and get that, down around here, back up here, over top of him here, get up there, up yeah, and then back down, yeah, okay, <clears throat> shark, no thank you, I was telling Chalk I've never heard that song and I don't plan on it. Oh, these guys are throwing rocks, and that's fucking messed up. Yeah, fuck! Okay. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Oh, no, run away. Shit. Shit. Oh, game over, man. Fucking game over. I didn't even save it at the after that uh, last one because 
because I was like, oh, I've got some more continues left. I'll just save it on the screen next time. Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> That's great. I'm falling. Nine, nine, nine. They were calling nine, nine, saying to call nine, nine, nine because they were falling to their death. Pretty sure. LJN, this is this game is a masterpiece. I wish I could get back to the fucking prehistoric era. Go hang out with some fucking dinosaurs again. That was cool. No Bill and Ted games. Yeah, this one's not bad. Get yourself some one-ups. This game's easy. This is a baby game. They had to add a timer because it was too fucking easy. It's true because they always sucked. Every single time. They were always shitty. It was a problem. It was problematic. Problematic trouble. Play problematic trouble. Man, that problematic trouble, that was the shit, man. Norm MacDonald. Did I say something Norm MacDonald said? I don't even remember. Ted. Can't tell which one you are. Which is crazy because, you know, they have completely different hair colors and you can't fucking tell because they both have black hair in this game. Alright, here is where I should make a save. Let's try this again. We gotta deal with our airborne uh, stingray. Damn it. I used to like him on SNL. His jokes about OJ weren't even that funny. It was funny because you knew he was gonna, going to shoehorn a joke about it. Yeah. <laughs> His humor certainly was for a specific audience. Mm 
<clears throat> All right, easy. Look at those sick graphics, man. Do you see those T-Rexes in the background? Whew. It's like next level fucking graphics. Shit. Shit. Come on. Andy Kaufman Light. Andy Kaufman Light version, yeah. Man, so many people thought he faked his death. Because it was the Andy Kaufman thing to do. Norm was great. He's awesome. Raw. He had these weird podcasts on Pluto TV. He basically smoked weed with other no-name comedians and just talk shit. Hell yeah. Oh, dickhead. Like, what's that one with, um... Doesn't... What was his name? Doug Benson have one of those? Like... What's his called... Getting dug with high? There's an episode where Jack Black was on it and he was like... He was like, overly baked. It was fucking... It was crazy. Oh, that actually does kill me. You gotta get out of the way. <clears throat> oh, damn it. I fucked up. Alright, how do I need to get down there? I need to strategically use these bombs. Alright, um, shit, I'm gonna need to, is Ted better than Bill? It's a casking of Pac-Man's better than Miss Pac-Man. Well, we all know that Pac-Man is better, well, no, Miss, well, no, Miss Pac-Man's better, for sure. They're both totally excellent, Bill and Ted are the most triumphant duo, my friend. Can't have one without the other. No, that's, um, that's Married with Children. Fuck, where am I going to put these bombs? There's another bomb down there that's going to break up that. So I need the bomb, like, probably there, and then there, drop down to the bottom, bomb that. But then I can't get over there. Hmm. Hmm. If I bomb to get in there, I'll grab that and get back up that way. Hmm. This is going to be tricky. Still fucked. Because I need to be able to get here with one. Oh. Oh, maybe I'm not fucked. Some of these walls just open by, by pressing up against them. And then I need to get the balloon and backtrack to go back up. But then there's still one down there that I can't get. And then one down there I can't get. Will that break walls as well? Kind of. 
Jump up. Well, I can't now. So I can get back up there to that one, but I need to get down to that still. Face planted into that brick. Man, how do I fucking do this one? See if I break down into. Well, unless there's a wall that'll open up. Okay. That's how you do that one, but. Alright. Okay, that's what we gotta do then, and then we can float back up around over there. I think we have an idea now. I think we have the, the idea in mind now. Get up there, get up there. Get up there, get up there, get up there. Nice. Alright. This looks scary, but we just go up there and then back around, right? Whee! Hey, we made it through a fucking stage. How about that? Whee! Easy. That one's easy when you don't just randomly jump off the ledge instead of jumping over to the platform that you want. Oh, this is gonna be... It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be sequential. We're gonna hit our head there, so we're not gonna be able to get across there. So don't go down there yet. Oh, I fucked myself on that one. <clears throat> All right. That seems like sort of the right path. Not that. I fell off that ledge. <clears throat> Get out of my way. Fuck you. No, fuck you. I said fuck you. Okay, grab those, grab those. But then, like, how the hell? Mm -hmm. 
fuck myself cause that dude is in the way. I'm so fucked now. It's a stingray, crikey. R.I.P. The Crocodile Hunter. So crazy how that happened. But I mean, I guess they'll sting ya. That's what they do. Scaring me, you stupid stingray. Of course that one's back up there. Ah! Thought he was gonna continue to the right a little bit. I need to go get that one to the left last then. Alright. Damn you! Fucked again. Get him over there. Damn it, I hit my head. Fuck. It's crazy how there's only one enemy on the screen and it's just like wildly difficult to avoid him. That's crazy. You're crazy, Mr. Stingray. I could be stuck again. I could be super fucked again right now. Yeah, he just came straight down. He's not he's not trying to go back and forth anymore. Are you kidding me? And he's like speeding up now too. Fuck. Get the hell out of my face. Every single fucking time, he goes a different path from where I need him to go. Oh, fucking bastard. YouTube, a YouTube video uh, saw a piece of preparing a stingray to be eaten at a sushi place. The thing is basically alive the whole time. Showed up on my YouTube feed without a proper title. Watched a few minutes and blocked that shit. You can't kill them because they release a chemical or something immediately after death. This isn't the 8th century. We have the luxury of being less barbaric. Yeah, we can be a lot more choosy these days. <clears throat> in what we consume and how we consume it. We don't need to, uh... I mean, we're not... Nobody's, like, hurting to the point where they need to be eating stingrays, probably. I'm sure there are other options. Get that shit. Now get out of there. Nice. 
And like the puffer fish and shit. This looks like your kind of game, Ted. Like, why you gotta... Why you gotta go and... Oh, we're at the shopping mall. You gotta go... You gotta go kill a fish and eat it that's gonna poison you. Like, that shit doesn't make sense to me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's just a straight up death hole right there. Okay. You gotta just, you gotta memorize this. Okay. There, there, there. There is a platform there that you can land on to avoid the robot dude. Uh, go up, just walk over, grab that one. Uh, jump off, get that one. That one's below, that one's below, okay. God damn it. I didn't eat veal anymore once I basically found how it was made. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Teach their own. I mean, most, most commercially uh, available meats are not exactly cruelty-free. <clears throat> but, like, there's no way that it can be. It can be, like, it can be less cruel. But, I mean, you're, you're, you're murdering something to eat it, so, I mean, it's, you're, it's not, it's inherently not cruelty-free. But yeah, the the one that's like one of the ones that's super weird to me is eating the uh, the octopus alive. That one's bonkers. Because I don't know, that's just gross. Though they'll, they'll like cling onto your fucking esophagus and shit. What does that do? Oh, I see. Yeah, that's true. Like, that's fucking weird. It's a fucking weird thing to do. Eat something alive. Oh, come on. I guess it wants me to land up there first, and then... I'm not giving any of them the satisfaction of killing me. I'm gonna jump in the hole. Push him off. Yeah. Now push him off. Damn it, it ran out. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I'm down with sushi. I like sushi. Good old sashimi. A little spicy tuna. But that shit's not alive. That shit has been recently dispatched. Oh, damn it. I feel like probably the best route is like this. Yep, and then get up here. Nope, fucked it up again. The texture of it? Yeah, it depends. I don't need it a ton. Killing and eating things is part of nature. Actively torturing something is a different thing. Yeah, absolutely. We all have a line. It tends to be subjective and based on what makes us squeamish. 
Using a knife and carving lines horizontally and vertically into a stingray that's blinking and peeling the pieces back is a bit much for me. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fucked up. That's super fucked up. And the, the octopus one, to me, is, is one of the most fucked up. As long as it's cooked, yeah. Man, seafood's great. I love me some seafood, that's for sure. Off, off, off the platform. Man, I was going super quick that time to the to the right, but I still didn't get up fast enough. That was weird. Mm, I could eat some some uh, sushi right now. Or just any kind of seafood, really. I don't think I'm going to make it far enough up by going from there. But I had no choice because the timing on those two dudes down at the bottom was off. Get off the ledge. I tend to make a lot of chicken because it's cheap, relatively speaking. Yeah, for sure. I feel that. No! Fuck. I had like, I had more continues. I don't understand that. I had at least one more continue. <clears throat> Doozy. Nope. Should have gone probably straight up at that point and then tried to catch onto that chain up there. Grab him by the short chain. seafood because I live on the Pacific and it's fresh and it's cheaper but I just don't I just don't how you do it. See, uh, I know I've mentioned it before, I'm not a fan of soft shell crabs. But I'm happy that people enjoy them. For me, that's too much. I don't need to eat all the... I don't... I'm not... I don't enjoy it. I don't really like it. I drove to Maine for lobster once. From Pennsylvania. Hmm. The Boston area is pretty great though. Fucking chowder. Hmm. I was in Plymouth once. Um and like down the kind of down the street away from 
I mean, it was on it. It was, on, it was there was like a, a pier, and uh, there were just these fucking seafood shacks on this fucking pier, and they were so damn delicious and cheap. Absolutely. I've said it before. I will say it again. Manhattan clam chowder, it's just not chowder. It's soup. It's it's like chipino. If I wanted a tomato based seafood soup, I would get chipino. It's um yeah, it's not fucking chowder. It's like tomato-based clam soup, and that's fine, but it's not chowder. Fight me, Manhattan. I actually saw that back in the day, lobster was basically the bullshit cheap meat they gave to prisoners until people realized you needed to eat them right after they died. No more lobsters for people in jail. Uh, yeah. They tasted good, yeah. And they're like, oh wait, we'll take these for us. And prisoners get shit. Damn it. I gotta time that right to where I can shoot over to the left and grab that chain and just get the hell out of there. You don't cook them yourself? No? Just because there are too many options around you that it's just easier to let somebody else prepare it? Now prison is getting baloney and it's fucking... It's fucking stupid. Bread and baloney, baby. Gotta look the other way. You don't want to just drop it in the pot and hear it scream. They say it's not actually screaming, it's just steam releasing. Uh, but then there's the, there, there's the just drop them in alive camp, and then there's also the stab them through the head and kill them instantly before you put them in the pot camp. I don't know, I don't, I don't purchase lobster enough to, to have any kind of opinion on that. It's the steam coming out of the shell. Yeah, exactly. But I know, I know there are a lot of uh, people that are like, ah, it's screaming because it's in pain. No, it's it's already dead. It's already dead actually. But but that's cool. Damn it! See, sometimes it slows down and it. And it takes... I don't know. Fuck, man. I'm gonna take a quick break. And then we'll try some more of this. At the shopping mall! Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna take a, take a little bit of break. I'm gonna take a little extended break, because I need to I need to munch on something. I'm fucking hungry. So let's play a couple songs. I mean, I'm not gonna be gone for like 20 minutes or anything. Normally my break is about five minutes, but it's probably going to be closer to, to ten-ish because I'm going to munch on something and I'm going to fucking smoke some weed. Um, so bear with me. I'll be back in just a bit. And I'm not going to like fix anything to eat or anything. I'm just going to probably eat some crackers or something. But, um, but yeah, I'll be back in just a bit.
Kenali
Listen to all this hot guitar music for Bill and Ted. Just imagine Bill and Ted are shredding this song right now. Yeah, I was waiting for a package yesterday. It said it was out for delivery yesterday. And then it never showed up. And then it went back to a different post office in a different city across the river. And then it was out for delivery again today. <clears throat> but I got a new shirt. Got a new shirt. It's a it's an explodey Nintendo controller. NES baby. Oh yeah. That's pretty good. I approve. Here, kitty. Hang on to that for now. <clears throat> NES controller shirt. All right. Do you have the same one? Hell yeah. I love the look of it with the, uh, like the exploded schematic view. Fucking loved it. So I went for it because I had to buy a couple other things um, off of Amazon the other day. And... I needed some like filler to get that sweet ass free shipping because I don't have the prime. And I was like, I could I could use some more shirts. And so I looked up some gaming shirts and that's what I landed on this time around. Alright. I think we're good to go now. Um Yeah. Get rid of that song. And let's get back into some fucking Bill and Ted. <clears throat> USPS just outdoing themselves as usual, though. What was the weirdest was like, I ordered a few items. Usually they group them all together in one, one shipment. This time they did not. <laughs> they all three have different fucking tracking numbers. And uh, they were all initially due to arrive tomorrow. <clears throat> but then this one popped up over the weekend saying that it was going to be here on Monday. Monday came and went after receiving my informed delivery email from the post office that I had I had a package coming <coughs> and then I just never fucking showed up Jump, dickhead! On my break, though, I had some roasted, unsalted almonds, and I also had some chocolate-covered, dark chocolate-covered acai and blueberries. Had a handful of those. And that was fucking tasty. Had some nuts and some berries, and a little bit of dark chocolate. Damn it. I need to wait for that shit to wear off because that's the that's the speed walking one and it just knocked me right the fuck off. I didn't even jump or anything, I just walked off and it shot me across the fucking screen almost.
No, see? It moves him way too quickly. Fuck. I also purchased my December t-shirt the other day. That's on its way. It should be here. It was a wide range. It was like, I don't know, November 28th. Well, maybe 28th? It was like the 28th through the 2nd, maybe. But it should be here be, uh, for the December event. Let me put a link to that, because, uh, man, the t-shirt's fucking badass. Um, let's see. December. Gonna paste this here. <laughs> there are three versions, three different color versions, variants of uh, of the T-shirt for this year's December. There's like the modern one that has like full color. And I almost got that one, but. There's also a cyan and magenta CGA version that's just straight up fucking fire. So I went with that one. Um, and then there's also a green, yellow, red kind of CGA ver um, variant. That eh, one was okay, but it was it just looked too much like the more modern one. But uh, that CGA 2, they call it, the uh, cyan and magenta one is just fucking... Mm, I dug it. It reminded me of <clears throat> it reminded me of DOS days, the true good old days of my my Tandy DOS computer. Are those continues counting up? I don't know. Like it's saying you've used three, you've used one, you've used two, now you've used three. Maybe. That'd be a stupid LJN trolley kind of thing to do, right? And the first option to click was F Madrid. Did you F Madrid? Damn it! He got stuck on the right hand side for some reason. I don't understand. Don't understand. I know I need to rub my eyes though. And I thought I paused that, but it didn't pause. Oh, uh, the break has caught up to my eyes. I apologize, chat, but sometimes, Squishy, you can back me up on this. Sometimes it just feels really fucking good to rub your eyes. It just does. Chalk fucked his dad. Um, actually, it wasn't. It wasn't F Madrid. There was another. There was another troll that came in right after F Madrid, because Chalk was like, "Who's next?" And he was taunting the trolls, and then like somebody else started fucking with him, and I believe the phrase was, um, and I don't, uh, I don't use this as a derogatory term like this, um, but I quote, they said, "You're gay." And he was like, I'm gay? Yeah, I fucked your dad. How do you think that you were conceived? And that's what happened. So, Chonk is a dad fucker. Because trolls like to be all fucking homophobic pieces of shit. Out his arsehole, exactly, yeah. I fucked your dad. How do you think you were conceived? Out of his arsehole. <laughs> Fucking idiots. 
Mm, why? This fucking... I don't know how long it takes for this stupid thing to wear off. There's no indicator once it's active up there, I don't think. See how it dis disappears once you activate your item? The shield's not up there anymore. Now the balloon is. Yeah, that's one of those clips the other that was played the other day because uh, we were talking about F Madrid, the uh, the initial troll. He was like, because uh, I think Chulk, I, the reason I guess was um, Chulk was playing um, Cuphead, which is a more modern game and draws a different clientele, different uh, viewer base. And, uh, he was just, you know, like, sometimes as a streamer, you pause and you talk to chat. And you catch up with chat. And you have a conversation because that's what streaming is. It's like a two-way kind of conversational type situation. And, uh, the player was, or the, the person in chat was like, Play game, streamer! Play game already! And Chalk didn't like that. And he went off on them because they were a f they were a first time chatter. They must have been lurking, wanting to watch some fucking Cuphead, and they didn't like the fact that he was chatting with chat. So he made them disappear. From his chat. He didn't make them disappear, disappear. Probably. Shit! Damn it! I think I could have gotten over that. I panicked because I thought the cat from the left was gonna come up, but he didn't. Man, OG Chalk was a completely different experience, Squishy. I slipped off the edge. It was a wild ride. It went from fucking. PG mother fuddruckers to like the fucking salt king of the world. It's good times. I remember HG saying that one time someone said, you know what would make this stream better if you didn't talk so much? You know what would make this stream better if you got the fuck out of my stream? Oh, this is gonna be another one of those. Okay, the one paused him, the other unpaused him, I think. Oh, yeah. She has a great voice for. I mean, just in general, but like, as a streamer, to. To narrate the game playing, like it's um, it's great. No, fuck, 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 fuck! Uh. They stopped walking. I just kept jumping and moving because I thought they were gonna like. I thought they were going to come at me, but then they didn't. <laughs> yeah, just don't shout her out. She hates that. I'm baked. Did that work? Yeah, there we go. I, hope I, I hoped I spelled it right. I got confused for a second. <laughs> you shout her out too. She loves it. I guess the, um, I was watching Ash said hi last night and uh, I guess they were having like a women's league or women's guild, what do they call it? The women's guild something or other? Wish I 
wish I knew what it was called. Um, but they were having like a raid train event last night. It was interesting. I was watching her play, just like on her normal Monday night stream, she was playing Oblivion. And um, all of a sudden she was like, I'm going to raid out and then I'll be back in exactly two hours because I'm gonna get raided and then we're gonna play something but it was kinda cool because they just had this big ass raid train that was going between a bunch of the different members of their their little the the women's oh, fuck I really wish I knew exactly what it was called Yeah, I get that. It can be weird. I think... I mean, yeah. It can definitely be weird. Especially if it's like the first thing that anybody's ever said to her. Um, but, uh... I appreciate, like... Just all good narration voices. She has a good narration voice. Which is great for stream because she's narrating the stream. But I definitely get that depending on the intention behind it and where the person's coming from, then it could definitely be creepy. Ted. That was lucky. That cat to the left was just about to pounce. Alright, this one is the one that gets a bit crazy. Get over there. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, get over there. Fuck. As long as Chalk doesn't hack my computer again to watch me sleep, I can handle the weirdness thrown my way. And for some reason, he had his fucking crotch cam on at the same time, Rob? I don't know. It was fucking weird. Something on the lines of she has a soft, calm voice like my loud ass, uh, unlike your loud ass hyperactive one. It was good for your hangover headache. Yeah, some people are like, "Wow, you have a really nice voice. Can I see? Can I see your feet?" Right? Because that's like the kind of world we live in, where peeps gotta make things weird. I was saying that's not a normal human response. I'm not trying to make it weird. I'm trying to say that's how people make it weird. I 
I don't make it weird that way. I don't want to see anybody's feet. It's not my bag, baby. Does that dude shoot? <laughs> Are those feet? Get that shit out of here. Did these dudes shoot? Damn it! Oh yeah, that's a fucking clip. There we go. I gotta... I gotta watch this now. see your feet public service announcement clipped show me your feet thank you Rob for the people yeah maybe that is I mean maybe that's a completely backwards way of counting continues squishy that makes sense and a doesn't make sense <laughs> time 69 uh, that makes sense in a it doesn't make sense kind of way. There's some weird ass people out there. Not that there's anything wrong with enjoying feet. But, uh,. There's a time and a place. Damn it. Damn it again. Legend of Zelda does what now? It, uh... It sells feet picks? Of Zelda's or Link's? Hey, you guys, it's the princess's feet. Oh, you bastard. Yeah, you're right on that one up. Now get out of here. Oh, I could really go for that one up. I still remember the dude from Am still remember the dude from Amazon who took a picture of my feet. He put my groceries on the porch to the right of the front door. I went to grab them. And he said he had to take a picture. I can confirm that. He pointed the camera his camera at the bags, then turned it towards my bare feet and took the picture. And he said, th thanks, and just walked off. I feel violated if it wasn't so funny and weird. Um, yeah, because they'll they'll send, like, the fucking uh, confirmation that they delivered it, right? And uh, I wonder what that one looked like. Did they send you a picture of it? Did they send you a copy of the, uh, the delivery confirmation photo of your feet? Or did he take one of the groceries, and that's the one he sent, but uh, then he kept the second one for himself. If you're there to grab him, yeah, that makes 100% sense to me, but maybe in their corporate world... 
they're like, man, you gotta take that fucking picture. I don't care if they're right there in their bare feet. You take that damn picture. Fucked up! You should feel honored. You should feel honored that he... Let me make sure I get this correct. Spanked off to your Barney Rubble feet. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Thought maybe I could, uh... Grab that one, but that looks like it's probably gonna be the last one to get. Because that one up there does that block. Oh, that gets rid of that one. I need to not do that, I think. Ba -ba -ba. Damn it. Hold my shirt. I need to take a picture of this real quick. Starts pinching his nipples. It's like, yeah, that's that's it right there. Man, I did that again. Like the crappy mini games from Back to the Future Two and Three. I've never played those. I'm too afraid to try those. Though the one for Super Famicom that Mixer played a while back actually looks kind of decent. I know it's not. I've tested it, I know it's not, um, but I still kind of want to try it. I might stream it someday. Damn it! Then you go back up and around, you have to hit that chain. It's the one where Marty was on a... Uh, on a hoverboard, and he did like fucking backflips when he jumped. It was pretty badass. Tried it on NES. And, hey, Bill, you have a go at it. Schoolroom. E equals MC apostrophe. Hold my shirt real quick while I put these nipple clamps on. Then I need to take a picture of the delivery. Those games are perfect representations of their counterparts. They're perfect representations of why licensed games are always bullshit. Watch the full playthrough. It's the most horrid piece of shit I've ever seen. Damn. Yeah, they look pretty bad. Did you see Mr. Blobby? Rob? Were you here for Mr. Blobby? Back in December last year. It was pretty awesome. It was a pretty awesome game. And I'm pretty fucked right now. I, I'm legitimately fucked right now. I can't go down. I can't contra jump down. I have to wait for the time to run out. Mr. Blobby. Blobby, Blobby, Blobby. If you don't know Mr. Blobby, Squishy, he's a uh, television character from the UK. Um, and he's just this giant pink and yellow polka dotted 
um, blob of a thing. And he just says Blobby. He had an actual number one hit on the charts. Um, uh, like a Christmas chart topping hit one year because uh, people were trolling the music industry, I think. It had something to do with Euro Eurovision, maybe? Damn. The save that I made there just has the one life, but that's okay. And it was, just, I mean, if you look up Mr. Blobby Christmas song, it's fucking great. Here's the gist on Back to the Future 2 and 3. One game. For part 2, you have to find 30 random items scattered through 3 time periods and plant them in hidden locations back in their original time periods. You have to do a word scramble to know which one to drop where. If you get it wrong, the piece you collected is destroyed and you have to get it again in a mini game that's like these but much worse. Oh, gross. Also, you have to collect radioactive pieces to travel, but you're limited in how many you can carry, so you can't just grind them. That sounds just... that sounds just gross. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Game over, man. Game over. Shit. At this point, I'm just I'm loading this one save because I I just wrongly assumed that I still had continues left. And I want to start at this fucking uh, stage. That's the only way you can get that one tucked up in the corner there. Oh, that's gonna be problematic. Can I walk there from this ledge, maybe? I can, okay. Yeah, go for it, Rob. What's this game about? What's up, Dr. Butterfingers? How you doing? This game is about Bill and Ted's excellent Game Boy Adventure. Obby. Hmm, that dude up top is gonna fuck me, I think. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Whoa. I should have saved it after that stage. I, I was thinking I'm not gonna save it on this stage because I just have the one life. It doesn't matter, but. I actually had more than one there somehow. Come here, asshole. Thank you. Whee! It's the full playthrough I watched. The dude typically made instructional videos for a trip. He's doing deathless runs. Here he ju is just losing his shit. It's over two hours, but worth it. I have to click on that for later. Let's see. <clears throat> Corn Shack presents. All right, Corn Shack. Let me. How do I do the dealie with the? Uh... Save for later. Watch later. There we go. There it is. You have to take a peek at that later. Oh no! Oh no! 
Dr. Butterfingers, I thought we were cool. I thought we were cool. All right. We're not cool. This is flaming hot. Can't be worse than the other nasty fucking bean I got earlier today. Still, no good beans. No good beans in that other bag. And it's red. I think it's a reaper. <clears throat> it looks reapery. It looks reapery. <clears throat> There's still part three to do. Much shorter. So, oh yeah, same cartridge. <clears throat> same premise, like same goal. You have to do the same kind of thing, or did you mention? No, you were just talking about part two earlier, All right? Yep. Yep. That's Reaper. Mmm. So sweet. Mmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's spicy. Oh, she's spicy. <clears throat> Yikes. This is fine. Whew. Where did I get the uh, jelly beans? I got mine at a local hippie store. But you can purchase them on Amazon. From Satan himself. Satan shits these out of his asshole. The Fiery Five. Straight from Satan's asshole. Oh, it hurts my tongue. I always forget, I still have these from ages ago. The Harry Potter ones. These have got to be pretty stale and gross by now. But there are actually some good flavors in that one. But there's also flavors like sausage, so... No, I'm not gonna fucking try one because my luck I'll get the nastiest one which is like dirt or like rotten fucking egg or vomit Ugh, she's hot That shit's hot all right back to the game Thank you for that Dr. Butterfingers. Whew. Makes my makes my ears hurt back in here by my by my jaws. Not really hurt, but um it tingles. Should have saved that. Cause now we have to do this one again. What dog? Barrel, but barrel, 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 barrel. Dude, that wet dog one is so nasty. 
But like, it's not even the worst. Which is the craziest part, because like... <clears throat> like, uh, fucking... Uh... Stinkbug is way nastier. They're not... <laughs> no, you're fine, Dr. Butterfingers. I mean, there's like... Less intense ones. There are five different options. There's... Jalapeno, there's... Sriracha, there's Cayenne, there's... Habanero, and... Um... The Carolina Reaper one. Which is the one that I got. And it's crazy. That's a troll one. We don't want that one yet. Thanks for the GG's. There's a 69 in my score. Now there's not. But there was. You can imagine what it was like when there was. Maybe when I got that other one. Mm -mm. Circuits of Time Directory. Well, I guess there's probably a password system, right? I should just be entering the password for those when we get to a new area. I will remember do that next time. <laughs> there were just no continues, so I just I just assumed like an ass that uh, damn it that okay so I just assumed that uh, there wasn't a fa password system, but it makes sense. It's just the telephone numbers are the passwords. Game that's fueled by pure vulgarity, right? I need to jump over him low and hit that. This isn't Plock, it's Plock Vember. What's up, Ferial? Slash Fanio. How you doing? Hope you're having a good week. Well, this isn't Plock. I was playing that other game earlier, the Bug Honey one. Bug Honey on Adventure Island. <laughs> but that shit was crazy. So I gave up. Because I'm a quitter. Not all the time. Not usually. Usually I don't quit. Usually I continue, but... I still need to watch that that movie, Rob. Is there an RPG? Because that would be amazing. Anybody ever play Jesus Christ RPG? There's a whole trilogy. There was a trilogy, and then there was like... I think there was even a sequel that involved Lucifer. <clears throat> it was an RPG. So it was it was it was pretty weird. It's really a thing. Look it up on Steam. 
think it's called Jesus Christ RPG Trilogy. And you start out as like, we babby Jesus, going to Bethlehem or something, or what is it? Yeah, going to Bethlehem. And you have to like, you have to prevent the king dude from killing baby Jesus, I think. If I remember correctly. It's fucking hilarious. Next month is Ploxember. Ploxember, Ploxember. But then there was like a, there was a sequel that came out after the original trilogy and I think it was like, I think it was called like, Lucifer Rising or something maybe? I don't remember. And then Ploxanuary, Ploxuary. Man, this one's tricky. Last time I was quick enough to just... Ah, damn it. See, if you're quick enough, you can get down through there. But, uh... I fucked it up. I need to go over here and get this one first. Go back. Run through it. See, sometimes you get stuck in the wall. You give up. Joke's dead. <laughs> See, I think I gotta get through that wall. Come loop back down around. Need to get this guy first, though. See, why did I... Why did I fuck that up? And now I'm just screwed because I made the floor disappear. Hmm. Fuck! So you need to land. I just... I'm holding right because I'm trying to get through that wall super quick before the wall goes up. Um, and then... If I keep holding it, I forget to let go of it, and then I hit that... I hit the little blinking thing above the question mark. And that drops the platform below me, and I need to not do that. Gifted him a furry game about a certain German character? David Hasselhoff? No! David Hasselhoff is a German character. Come on. Come on, Bill. Come on, Mr. Bill. Bill S. Preston Esquire. If you really even are an Esquire. There's also a game on on Steam called uh, Chair Sex Simulator because it you know first there was a chair simulator where you just simulate it, you just sat in a chair and you could like upgrade your chairs and shit um, but then somebody had to take it to the next level and they made a chair sex simulator where the you made the chairs have sex. That's on Steam. Knight Rider theme stuck in your head with Mr. Feeny. Mr. Feeny is Kit. Hey, Mr. Feeny. There we go. Damn it. And of course I fucked it up. This game is brutal.
when this kit meets world, when this kit meets world. Traveling down this road without the hop. He turned into Mr. Feeney in his later years. When the Hoff was done with his adventures. I didn't want to do that fucking shit. Chair sex simulator. Amazing. Yeah, and it's not like... It's not... It's not like an instructional game teaching you how to, ha how to have sex while positioned in, on, or around a chair. Why do I keep doing that? Um, it's... Simulating chairs having sex with each other. Obviously. What else could it possibly be? to write down those telephone numbers, we would do that. But we didn't. Boom, baby! Oh no. Is it lagging just on your end? Fucking Twitch app, damn it. Math 2000 AD. That good old 2000 AD math. With the pluses and the equals. Holy shit. Was that a fucking wizard? Was that a wizard, Ari? Shit. Get away from me. Nope. Damn it. He's not killing me, at least. He's just sending me back to the beginning. Which is kind of convenient. I'm just, it's wasting my time is the problem there, but... At least I'm not losing lives every single time. Shit. Search Google for weirdest games on Steam. Went to a recent Reddit board. Um, shower with your dad simulator. Okay. Alright, yeah, I mean, that totally makes sense, right? Why not? Why not, why not fucking shower with your dad on Steam? Seems legit. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that sounds like it'd be a pretty weird one. Um... But I mean, you know, water conservationists would love you for it. So there's that. when he's walking after he shoots. Man, this is tough. This is a tough one. Damn it. He hadn't... Okay, it's after he shoots like that, but he hadn't gotten up to walk yet. Like that. So few seconds. Okay. Whew. Shit. 
Shit. Ba ba da ba feeling up now now. Whoa! Whoa, did you see that? That dude just fucking disappeared. Shit. I thought I was gonna get up there and just grab it real quick before he uh, did his thing. But that's okay, look, we're... We're just dying. It's okay, actually, because if you touch him up there, he just teleports you, just like if he hits you with his shit, so it doesn't really matter. Now it's your turn, Ted. Here we go. See, I should be saving here. The abyss. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna try this uh and back. Welcome back, Dr. Butterfingers. The fuck? Hang on, I'm writing down five. Five five. Sixty-seven thirty-seven. And I'm just gonna see what the password does later. I don't know. Probably takes me just right here to this beginning stage in the like quest one of adventure eight, I'm assuming is what it does. The fuck? The fuck indeed. Is that rabbit shitting himself? I mean, obviously it's supposed to be an Easter bunny shitting his Easter eggs, right? But why are the eggs not quite? They were, uh... They were filled in like like they were rotten. Maybe they were sentry eggs. That's what they were. He was shitting sentry eggs. Sixty seven thirty seven? Yeah. This way I'm starting with eight lives. That's pretty cool. Starting with eight lives, and that's a pretty cool thing to do. Oh, I see, Dr. Butterfingers. You were the fucking the uh, shower with your dad simulator? Is that is that what the fucking what the what the fuck was all about? I feel you on that one. Hmm. I mean, what wasn't it about? Who doesn't want to shower with their dad? Fuck it. Clicks on the link. Dad? Right? Better watch out. Squishy, you might see something that you'll never be able to unsee.
That seems problematic. Like, I'm not gonna be able to get that. Like, I needed to use the balloon to get up on that platform. Dad, no! What are you doing, Dad? What are you doing with that Easter egg? You're gonna put it where? Dad, no! Easy. Let's play hide the Easter egg. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Oh, I don't think I can jump over him. That's fine. Now we know. Look at him edging. Oh shit. Oh, Granny's not. Who is that lady? Nah, see? What the fuck? Are those kisses? Is she blowing kisses at me? Is that Sonya Blade later in life? Son of a bitch. I have a game plan. Nope. Wrong one. I thought she was to the left and Abe was to the right. Pretty lore accurate, yeah. Remember that time that they got in the phone booth at the Circle K and then they went down to uh, Mortal Kombat land? I do. That was my favorite episode of the Mortal Kombat. See, that's what I have to do. I can do this. Me, 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 me. again. Oh, you bastard. Damn it. I need to go get that left one first. MT when MTV was a war crimes channel. Wait, what now? I want my MTV. Just give it to me. Give me my fucking MTV already. I need to go backtrack there. Shit. Want another spice bean? Nah. Because you can't. One per stream. Got him. Oh 
shit, I'm gonna have to get over Granny. Okay. Aw, yeah. I limit the pain to once per stream. Oh, this is crazy. I'm gonna get all these. I'm gonna need to go over there and get a bomb, probably. He's gonna shoot that thing off at me. Damn it. Oh, this is gonna be fucking crazy. Oh, this is gonna be fucking crazy! Oh, that's an R.I.P. What the hell? I thought for sure that that was gonna be a bomb. How did you link that counter to the Bean Bizzle one? Um... What counter? Like a... Like once per stream kind of thing? Cause it should be on it should be on both of those, right? It's in the it's in the settings on Twitch. You go into the uh, like the channel rewards section. Oh it's because I already somebody already redeemed it earlier. And it was wet fucking dog. Because of course it was. Yeah, they're independent of each other, but uh, somebody redeemed that one also. Can I? Nope. I was trying to see if I could climb up there, but I can't. Hmm. I just need to get up there. Oh, I thought R.I.P. was bad. Because why would R.I.P. be good? But look, that, that's just invincibility. Are you kidding me? This whole time I thought the R.I.P. was bad. I never got one of those. Because it's a fucking gravestone. It says R.I.P. on it. Are you kidding me? Bullshit trolley game. Thank you, LJN. Once again, you've outdone yourself. I slid right into the fucking hole! Call an ambulance, but not for me. Holy shit. It's fine. It's fine, we got this. We know what to do. Knowing's half the battle. I watched, um, fucking G.I. Joe as a kid. Knowing is half the battle. That's not how the song actually went, it's just how I did it because I'm awesome. Motherfucker, I'm awesome. Got him! Assuming I need to wait for him to do his thing. Do that. Shit. Wait like half a second more. But that's fine. We good? Sixty-nine? Right here. Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine, sixty-nine. Saw the sixty nine. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Okay. 
<clears throat> I gotta wait until Thing Comb is over there to the right, but man, this is... Wait, maybe I... Oh. I'm gonna run out of time now. The shits are coming! Damn it. Aw, yeah. I love how AI wonky the Mario is. He's like partially morphing. Oh shit, look at me. Look at me go. Haha. -ha. Hack the fucking planet, baby. Seconds left though. It fucked up again. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Yeah, go. Did I get it? Oh, I fucking got it with zero fucking seconds left. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Watch out for charbroiled poopies! Charbroiled rabbit poopies! Let's freaking go! Dude, zero fucking seconds left. That was wild. Oh, Einstein got in my way. I was trying to wait it out there, but that did not work. Did not work. Char brilliant rabbit poopies. Oh shit, I see. It opened up up top. Which one did I have to get for it to do that? First, second, the third one? Third one, then it opened up. Fuck, then I gotta backtrack. That's gonna be really fucking difficult. I guess let's just do this first then? That makes a little more sense, I guess. Yeah, boy! Over to you, Bill! Alright, Paradise. I saved there so we can, we can go back there if we need to without writing the password down. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, those things fucking... Oh, man. Wait, are there plat... Are there invisible platforms here? Nope. Well, now there are. Holy shit, that was wild. What the hell? Oh, he's... Mm. Damn, he fucking teleported up there. In the nick of time. Ooh, thanks for the clip. Yeah, that was down to like zero seconds, wasn't it?
That was crazy. That shit was crazy. Easy. I don't think I've ever seen it come down to that. Was it on zero? Was it actually on zero whenever I touched the door? Let me see. Six, five, four, three, two, one. It changed to zero right as I, right as I fucking touched it. Man, that was nuts. I had to know. I looked up that shower with your dad simulator game. Yep, it's ba it basically looks like an Atari 7200 game, and you're a kid who has to keep showering with your dad. There are three dads, and you have to pick the right one to shower with for points. Nice. That sure, that sure does sound like a game. Sort of. Yeah, but what about what about chair sex simulator? You haven't told me your thoughts on chair sex simulator yet. Oh, I fucked myself here. Ah. Yep. Damn it. Three men and uh, showering kid. I guess. Wasn't that that movie? I think there was a movie in the 80s. Three dads showering their kid. What's up, Sokka? How you doing? I did! This is the excellent Game Boy Adventure. It's actually titled that. I'm not just saying it because it's the Game Boy game, but it's actually called Bill and Ted's Excellent Game Boy Adventure. <clears throat> It sure is something. It's an LJN masterpiece. I tell you what. This is not ideal. Okay. Alright, get up there. Jump over there. There we go. This is totally an LJN. I ran right into him. You see that? You see that rainbow logo on the front, and you just know it's gonna be a wild fucking time. Looked up chair fucking simulator. I saw the trailer. I'm moving on with life. Are you telling me you're not? You don't want to fuck chairs, Rob? I don't get it. This does not compute. Why would you not want to fuck the chairs? But you're not just fucking chairs, you are chairs fucking chairs. You know, and that's... And that's something. Oh, now I'm super fucked. <laughs> That's why you go into uh, the private mode so that you know you're not signed in on that browser and then it won't affect it. This is how you're... Yeah, me too, Sokka. This is like the part where you're just floating around on a fucking balloon. Trying to avoid a squeaking... I don't even know what the fuck it is. I think it's supposed to be a biblically accurate angel, maybe? I feel like I need to go back over and get that one. But this dude's gonna really fuck me! Oh. Well, I guess I'll just have to backtrack. Alright, alright, alright. 
Yep. Oh shit, no, I'm fucked now. Because I don't have the balloon. You have to have the balloon. Shit. How do you get that then? I guess you gotta wait him out like that a little bit. That was close. I fucked myself though because, man, I really needed that platform up there. Yep. Fucking screwed. Unless I can jump across there, but I don't think I can. I don't think there's any way. Damn. You saw a punching bag with arms, legs, and a face humping a fold-up metal chair angrily? Naturally. It's just a Tuesday fucking night for me, Rob. Is that weird? Is that weird for you? Why is that weird? Fucked. At least I'm getting better at this bit. Timing this to go up and grab these. Next problem is... They're so unpredictable. Like that time I was trying to wait for him to come down straight down, but he kept going diagonally. Fuck over there! Yes! Look at Einstein up there. Look at me just walking off the fucking ledge. <laughs> Thanks for the GG's as I walk off the ledge and just die. Oh, I thought I had the RIP. I used it. But it didn't... it didn't use it. I used it, but it didn't use it, chat. Use it or lose it. I tried to use it and I lost it. Get over there. Get out of my way, Einstein. One hell of a head Einstein has, I know, right? Oh shit, I forgot to do my my uh, my dealy here. Oh shit, that made them go all funky. Okay, cool. I was waiting for him to do that. This cat's gonna pounce on me. Oh, and then this asshole's here too. Oh, this is bad! What a fucking jump. What a fucking jump! What a fucking jump. Go for it, Ted. School concert. Man, how many fucking stages are there? Damn. Adventure 10. 
Gotta go get me some food. I'm hungry. This game is so long. There's so much Bill and Ted action. Both Bill and Ted. Ah, oh, fucking touch the flames. Don't touch the flames. Don't touch the butt. Don't touch the flames. Beep beep weedy beep weedy These guys don't hurt you. They'll, they'll they will grab you up and push you off a ledge though. Yeet. Yeet. Man, how do I deal with this dude? I'm gonna have to... Just let him blow my kneecaps off, I guess. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be real tough. You know, this game doesn't look that bad to be LJ, and it's really not. That's why I decided to give it a shot, because I played the first couple stages um, off stream. I was like, that's eh, not bad. It's puzzly. You have to figure out the paths and whatnot. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but it wasn't bad. It didn't seem bad. It seemed potentially doable. Fuck, I should have been closer to that damn plan. I'm gonna need to jump over that, and then when he comes back over, that's when I jump across over him. Oh, damn it. I'm not gonna have enough time now. I fucked myself real hard there. Compared to the other BS they have, yeah, I guess they, maybe they just couldn't, maybe they just couldn't really screw up a Game Boy game that much, based on the technology or something, they were just like, I don't know, I guess we'll just make a game that actually plays. I mean, I can do it. That's that's what I gotta do. I just need to not miss that elevator platform. That screwed me last time real bad. What are these that I'm gathering? Definitely some slowdown in this game. Shit! Come on! Oh, I was so close. Gonna get it. You gonna get it. Let go of me. You're wasting my time, sir. I just saw the list of LJN games on NES and saw three that I like. Friday the 13th, Jaws, and Nightmare on Elm Street. The last two I really like. Yeah, I mean, they didn't... They have a bad reputation because of um, AVGN. Because people can't figure out what satire is.
But I mean, they did have a lot of shitty games, but they also had games that weren't as shitty. Oh, that's that person. Okay, that's right. But that's okay. It puts me back up here where I can come up here and get that and that. Napoleon boner part. Yeah, see, I go here, let him shoot me, come back up top, go here, grab that and that, let him toss me off there. Let him toss me off, chat. Should I let him toss me off? Damn it, I can't get over him. I need to like... There we go. No! Son of a bitch, that was so close. Son of a bitch. Okay, it's fine. We can do this. This isn't so hard. We can do this. No. Oh, Alright, we got this, we got this, we got this. We know the drill. We at least know the drill now. Yeah, with AVGN, it's sort of in between. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. It's in between, fuck. Sort of in between uh, satire and a review, the points he's making about the games are valid, absolutely. Uh, but they're done in a way that the tiniest things are amplified to make the, his character show. An actual game review is part of the process. Is, yeah. One hundred percent. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna have to maybe drop down there first. No. Yeah, I mean, this is not a terrible game. A lot of the patterns you have to kind of figure out. And his word gets taken uh, taken like gospel, though, which is weird. Yeah, I don't know. People are people are fucking weird about that. I don't know. Yeah, I, I never understood that why people don't grasp the concept that he's a fucking he's playing a character. He is a fictional character. Damn it. Castlevania 2 is awful. Castlevania 2 has been my favorite so far. Now, to be fair, I've only played 1 and 2. But... Two was pretty dope. I liked it. Just jump off. Just jump off the ledge. Just just get out of there.
fucked. <coughs> Man, how am I <clears throat> how am I supposed to get that one down there? It's gonna be insane. Sucks. <clears throat> that really, uh, that platform falls quick. Hit the next platform and then go down. Castlevania 2, isn't that a shitty game? Isn't that a shitty game because AVGN told me so? Why do I keep doing that? I keep doing it because my brain is tired, I think. This game has to be close to over, though. I'd hate to quit just to come back next stream and, like, <clears throat> be right at the end. Yeah, how many, uh... What do we have? Uh, there's... Adventures and Quests. <clears throat> I figured it had to be close. Damn it. I was trying to do I I want that Reaper dude on that middle platform <clears throat> to go elsewhere. I need him to... Like that. But the wrong one did that. I need the one on the middle platform to do that. Damn it. How did I miss that platform ledge? Jump directly into a torch.
Oh, that son of a bitch. Fucking teleported. I was watching the other dude, not him. I was waiting for the Napoleon dude to throw his hat. But down, 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 down. Oh, there's an extra one down there? Damn, how do I get it now? I fucked up. That's how. Oh, come on, he was facing the other fucking way! Oh, are you kidding me? What a bastard. This game has been so fucking trolly, but hey, it's LJN. <clears throat> it's not like they've never made a trolley ass game before. Let go of me. You. Oh, wait, no, that's good. Okay. Okay. Shit, shit, shit! All because I had to wait for the damn, uh, Reaper to teleport a bunch. From the batteries not included. Oh, like when he's walking around with his hat on, inside his hat, I guess. Because he's like, basically, he's inside his hat. He's like Napoleon Mushmouth. Not ideal. Not ideal. Man, I want to watch the Bill and Ted movies again. Son of a bitch. There's not enough room down there because he takes so long to throw his hat for some reason. He walks the entire length of that stupid platform area. Does he always throw to the left or is it just because I'm to the left of him right now? Because no matter where he's walking, it seems like he's... Oh, the fucking Reaper moved! Oh, man. Fucking Reaper, you gotta keep moving. Oh, that's not ideal. Fuck it. Go get this. And jump right off to- I, I, <clears throat> This is irritating. Because I, I pulled back the last second because he stopped. I thought he was going to keep walking, but he did not. So that I went to pull back and landed right on top of him. Holy 
shit, this is irritating. It's just straight up RNG with that stupid Reaper dude uh, teleporting. When's he gonna teleport? Where's he gonna teleport to? Of course he fucking stopped right there. Why wouldn't he? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay. Don't. That dude needs to fucking go elsewhere. Go down here. Come on. Teleport, teleport, quick. Come on, asshole. What a fucking piece of shit. Are you kidding me? Dude, that pisses me off so much. It's just, it's the RNG factor with that dude. It's just such bullshit. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? It's bullshit. I just slipped right off. I slipped right off on that one. What's up, James? How you doing? Good morning. Hope you slept well. This is fucking stressful, dude. I quit that other game very quickly into the stream today. The uh, the Bug Honey and Adventure on Adventure Island, the platformer Arkanoid one. It's just, oh, I just couldn't do it anymore. Just the trying trying to just repeat those stages over and over again because the passwords are bullshit man and then I moved on to this because clearly this is a oh that fucked me because clearly this is this an LJN Bill and Ted game would be better clearly an LJN game would be much better this game's actually not bad. It's been pretty fun, but man, it's it's rough finding the um, correct paths sometimes. And this one has to do with timer and RNG because the little Grim Reaper dude he keeps spawning to like right there where I don't want him to be. I can't have him there. Can't have him there either. He always fucking, always fucking goes right where I'm at. Son of a fucking bitch. Hope you're having a good week, James. I saw you played this game when it when it brought up the uh, the high scores list that your name was on it. I think you were in like third place or something. It was not too bad. I want him to come up over here. Can I just wait for him to come over here? No, because he's an asshole. Damn it. That was just dumb. Week's been strange so far. Uh, strange so far. Sleep's been do doing its nonsense. Yeah, that's what you were saying the other night. 
or day or something. That's no fun. Which is better, this one or... Oh, get there! Fuck me! Come on! This or the Lynx version? I don't know. Probably this, honestly. Lynx version was kind of interesting. It was just... It got pretty confusing trying to figure out certain things like where to place a key. Or like where to go and like drop that note to ourselves and shit like that. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. five this definitely looks better to you this looks like fun may actually be involved yeah it's not it's not bad it's bad when shit like that happens and now we're at this uh, quest five with one life you know what I'm gonna do though save state baby I fucked myself. I fucked myself today. Because this game is jank. Oh no, I meant to. Oh, damn it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Potentially unfucked. If that dude will move. Alright. Get over there. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Don't spawn me right in that asshole. Okay, okay. That dude's gonna move. Cool. That dude's gonna pew pew. Jump over him. Oh, fuck. I don't have enough time. Not enough time. Uh, two, one. Yes! Hey, dude! That was the most triumphant experience. You've totally saved our future. Oh, baby, we did it! Man, that came down to the zero second timer again. Party on, dudes! Holy shit. What a game. <laughs> game over. Love it. Mm, chef's kiss. The, the final ending is just game over. Love it. Beautiful. Alright. <laughs> On that note, even though James just got here, I'm gonna call it. Let me see who uh, is still streaming tonight. And we'll do a little raid. Who should we go see? I just want to see them. James, are you are you gonna do a a waking stream? You want me to raid you? Let's go see. I just want to see Ash last night. I don't want to read into hers again tonight, but uh, let's do... I haven't seen... You know who I haven't seen in a while? Upside Out Matt. Why does the little screen look like a maternity 
photo and Bill's pregnant, right? And then we've got like Cher on the right there. You badly need tea before you can do anything. Get you some tea. Upside down Matt, he's doing something retro. Something Bubsy, should we go watch Bubsy there? Yeah, let's do that. Did that work? That worked. Thanks for hanging out tonight, everybody. Um, we got to see a little bit more of that Bug Honey game, and it was it was crazy. Um, and then we got to see what Bill and Ted for the Game Boy looked like. Not too, not too shabby. Uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'll be back on Thursday. Who do we have tonight? We had James, Rob. We had Sakonikau earlier. We had N39 earlier. Uh, da -da -da. Dr. Butterfingers was here. Uh, Squishy Boogie was here. Uh, Ferial was here. And that's as far back as it goes. Thanks for hanging out. I will be back on Thursday. We'll play something new. Um, probably finally get into that B.O.B. game. That run and gun is, is what I'm thinking. So have a good rest of your week. Well, not rest of your week, but uh, have a good tomorrow. Have a good hump day. And uh, I'll see you on Thursday. Let's go see what Upside Down Matt's up to. Bye for now.